Hey, uh, welcome back to TT Burger Podcast. I am Tony, aka TT Burger Eight, and this is episode two of my podcast. Joining me, me for this for this podcast is. Hey, what's going on? It's Lunar Nocturne here, and post apocalyptic game. Hello, <laughs> hello, guys, and this is going to be part two of our of our of our, of our thoughts on the future of gaming. Now. Me and 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 James, uh, Lunar Nocturne, have done the first part, but we're gonna re- re- we're back for the second part, and my thoughts on the future of gaming still remain the same. Like we're still it's still going to get worse than worse than it is now. The new consoles are definitely not going to be worth getting, and just that even gaming related related stuff has basically gone down downhill a lot. Like like E three and stuff, but like who wants to start? Who wants to start off to uh? Uh, Lu- um, post a pop up the gamer. Um, what do you guys say about like the f- about like future of gaming and stuff? Okay. Well, there's going to be a lot of censoring, um, a lot of companies disappointing fans and stuff like that. And like you said earlier, the the current generation of consoles is not really worth getting. To add to that, I. I've been telling people for the last few years to just build a PC. It's a little bit cheaper. You get more for your money, and you get better performance in a lot of games. Yeah, I mean, like, um, it's just that I I don't really like 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 the PC game, but I have a feeling the PS4 is gonna be the last console I buy because like because like I'm not because like the g- games games just going way downhill. It's like it's all the same thing. Every first-person shooter is like Call of Duty or Battlefield. Every fighting game has to be like Street Fighter and stuff, and and every platform game, action game or whatever, has to be like Assassin's Creed, and every survival horror game has to be like Resident Evil and stuff. It's just all the same thing over and over and over. So there really is no point in buying con- and buying these consoles, buying new consoles, or even buying these games and stuff. I mean, especially when most of when when most of these games, most of their content is locked with with DLC or microtransactions and loot boxes, and to say that and 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 people People say that like a couple of people say that it's gonna be be a norm next next generation of gaming. <laughs> no, no way am I going to buy a next gen console just so I can pay money to go and buy buy stuff like that. I mean that, that's just total bullshit. And yet back when you compare back b- 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 the gaming back then when like like we were t like when like when I was like like 16, 17 years old like there were tons of games games like game stores were filled with a bunch of games you can go buy from from the store and just and just pay them and then everything would be on the desk and stuff hell even guidebooks books too like you don't even see anything about say, any guidebooks anymore either because like no because like it's all done on, on the internet these days and stuff and yet oh sorry didn't mean to interrupt yeah, like guidebooks, and it's just that nowadays, it's just like 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 just not that many games out there out there there to pick from because a lot of a lot of gaming these days is all digital and such. Is that it? Just make it just there really isn't a big selection to choose from. Now you can talk. Am I bad? Um, what I meant to say was that yeah, um, one of the famous uh one of the famous like uh, gaming guides publishers, I forgot the name. It was Brady Games. They stopped. They completely stopped making guidebooks altogether. <laughs> Yeah, like the very last guidebook I ever got was 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 for Gran Turismo Five, and and it looked totally different. Like like it looked like a small spiral spiral rule and notebook and stuff, and like it's it just that <laughs> just that the local disc store that I go to where, where it has like a bunch, a bunch of old games for old for retro consoles and stuff. They have guidebooks there and stuff like that. That's pretty much the only place you can buy guidebooks. But then again. It's just that you can pretty much just go look, look, since, since YouTube is so popular nowadays, you can just go look up on YouTube tube to watch a walkthrough if you get stuck somewhere and stuff. And like, and like, one thing I wanted to mention that I did not, that I forgot to mention about, about in our last part was talking about E3. Now, I'm sure all of you have been a fan of watching E3 ever since like, like G4 TV came out and stuff. And, and because, because like, because like back back in the day, like there was there was no there was no YouTube right at that, so it's the only source for for like E3 and to see the next the new the, the new games and stuff is basically G4 TV, or you just basically had to go like find a website to stream it from. But a lot of people didn't really know about stream back then. But like compare E3 then to E3 is now E3 nowadays has gone way down has gone way down downhill since 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 like the days of like the PS2 and PS3 and stuff. Like um, E3 back then 
E3 was, E3 was like was like awesome because they had so many games games for, for you to see and all these new IPs for you to like to just like, like watch and stuff. I remember like when when they were talking about the, about the 360 and the PS3 and such and like I, I remember like like, like seeing trips like Resistance Fall of Man and Motorstorm and and like um Killzone Killzone 2 and like Dead, and like and like I try to think and like a lot of ra racing games a lot of fighting and stuff that they had. it was like so big and like it, it it felt like like they put time and effort into to the press conferences, but nowadays it's just what 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 what, what is what, what is E3 these days? E3 is nothing more than 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 a fucking entertainment 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 mit, mit skit with with unfunny skits and gags. It basically they barely ever talk about they barely they show any anything interesting. Basically, all the games they show at E3 nowadays are. Are Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Forza, Need for Speed, uh, Halo, and like Battlefield Five, and and just and just that. I mean, it's basically all you ever see nowadays. There's barely any any exclusive games that that they announce. I mean, like Sony, like la, 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 Sony and, and Microsoft's conferences last year were terrible. Sony's was a little bit better, but. But but it wasn't much at all. It, it, it was way too short. They showed a lot of games that they already showed before, and just and just that 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 that, that when the people are talking and stuff like that, or they're talking about 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 well, what what's gonna happen in the game and such. It's just that I don't want to hear about this. I'll I I rather rather hear more about it while the before the game's released, not being shown at like some press conference. It's just. It's all. It's it's just annoying because like, I'm not here to watch PP people talk or watch some stupid skits. I'm here to see see some new games, but just that you could tell tell the people for E3 they just they just don't really care about it anymore because like, a lot of people just don't just don't don't, don't really really care about it either because like, you can all the games they show or 95% of the games the games they show you could pretty much see them. It, online somewhere, or like when, when, or like when the games are leaked and stuff like that. Like most things you show, you you can find a trailer for them online. So that's basically what it is. And like, remember a couple years ago when they showed uh, Detroit Become Human? I already knew oh, about yeah. that game. I already knew about that game. So, yeah. And I remember like when Microsoft Soft was promoting just the game Just Dance. They had Usher come on, lip syncing to his to the song Scream. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, why is this here? This has nothing to do with gaming. I mean, I mean like, you know. It, it it reminds me of like the season like, like it's it's like a season finale of American Idol where they have the two hour two hour finale which which is just filled with with gags and people singing and stuff like it's just instead of just, just getting getting to the winner and stuff it just basically it's like that that's what E three is like a season finale of of American Idol. Uh, Woody, you, you had something to say, uh, James? Um, all right, you know, last year's E three was hilarious. <laughs> Um, they had, I remember when they had dude, um, what was it, it was, I remember when EA, it was last year, E3 2018, when they started, when EA started, um, before everyone else on a Saturday, yo, it was a giant mess, <laughs> it was, it was one of those, it was one of those messes that was, like, so bad that it was good, <laughs> No, uh, well, I didn't. I, view. <laughs> I, I didn't even see EA because I don't, I don't, I don't care for watching EA's comments. It was, it was a hot mess, you had to be there. So, anyways, they had they had this like um, they were talking about like uh, Madden and everything. I didn't care about that. Then they had this Madden um, E uh, the E three. Um, they had this Madden uh, esports player. I couldn't. They had this Madden esports player walk on stage and stuff, just talk about whatever. And I just <laughs> just hit someone on my desk. Um, they were just talking about whatever, and it was dragging on and on. It was horrible. I mean, um, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, the thing Did is. You see did you see any of the vlogs from the convention that people were making? Oh, no, I, I didn't get to see this. What happened? Well, well they, they had booths and everything, EA did, and one of the booths was FIFA. Oh, yeah. One of their, and then people were vlogging, and then they were like, oh, I'm passing the FIFA booth. There's nobody here. It's like, nah. Like, nobody, nobody was there except for the one guy that's supposed to supervise. Well, no shit. Not... No shit, because, like... Who even, who still plays those sport games nowadays? I mean, sport games used to be fun, but then, but then they were starting to send it over and over. That's when I stopped caring about the sport games, right? Nobody watches, watches a press conference for sport games. I mean, I mean, I mean, it, it's, it's like, 
Why would you? Who would? Who would even bother? Wa- who? Who? Who would even bother watching just for a sport game stuff? That I mean, it's like that's what that's a, that's why I'm glad Sony and Microsoft don't do that. But still, when 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 you're watching press stuff, and all of a sudden talking about sport games, you're just gonna want to turn it off and go do something else. Cause like, yeah. The only ever good sports game that I've ever seen was back in the PlayStation Two day, days. There was this game called Backbreaker. It's oh. supposed to be like a ripoff of Madden, and whenever one of your characters gets injured, you get to choose to give them a shot of steroids <laughs> and stuff like that, hmm. and you get to see them like relocate arms and all. Yeah, I've heard about that, but since I don't really care for sport games anymore, I just don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even want any of them in, in in my collection because that's how that's how dumb they that, that that's how stupid it has become. Because like all it's just that. I mean, like, I'm not gonna watch E3 just to just see sports games it's, or see the same Battlefield. And who can forget Bethesda with with, with Fallout 76? How it's still gonna be the best fall game ever and uh, stuff, and it end up being a bunch of lies too. Yeah, I didn't even I knew that game was going to be crap anyway because like it just it just it just it just looked uh, looked terrible compared to Fallout 3. It I mean Fallout 3 looks and looks and plays much better than that. And like I've seen gameplay play footage where footage where, 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 where there's like clipping all over the place, it glitches all all, all all over the all over the fucking place. It's just crazy. And <laughs> oh, but as soon as Fallout 76 came out, you couldn't go a day without hearing some crazy news about it. <laughs> that was the only good thing about it because of all the crazy news coming out every day. <laughs> the beta yeah. was even worse. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was, like, first five minutes into the game, I was phasing through the floors of the vault, and I couldn't even start the actual game. Yeah, fun fact, I was actually going to rent it from a red box uh, down the street from my house just so I could get a few trophies, but even I, even it's it's not even worth trying to get a few trophies. <laughs> Having that game, game, game in your collection is it's just as bad as Tekken, as, as Tekken 7 when I got Tekken 7 and how long content <laughs> that game was. And everyone, me being a huge Tekken fan, I hated Tekken 7 because... It's okay. it, they took out my girl Julia. They took yeah, they took out, out Anna Williams, but they added her and stuff, and they, and they made Nita wear like a sexy bride dress and stuff, and just <laughs> yeah, it's just that yeah, that's another thing too. It's like, it's just that I'm not I'm not against skin skin girls wearing bikinis or anything that are, are hot costumes and stuff, but but the thing I don't like is that like how 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 it how it's like how it has to be like every female character in a video game nowadays in a fighting game stuff has to be overly has to be sexualized and stuff when 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 they weren't like that in the beginning. Now you're probably thinking. Oh, you like to play Daryl Live? They have girls and stuff. That that's different. Game that that game series was made for fan service and stuff. But then when you start copying that and like <laughs> and like have characters like 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 Nina Williams and Anna Williams and Shell Yu were like were like hot short dresses and stuff like that, you could tell they're trying to rip off Dead or Alive in the worst way possible. And yet going and yet going back to E3 for a minute. They always show the same games over and over. Like I said, you never see a game by Compile Hard or Nis America or or barely anything by Quantic Dream or whatever. Ever since since well, Detroit Become Human, well that well with that or some, but like it's just you don't even see much from Sega anymore. You don't even see hear anything about, about Hatsune Miku or anything like like that. It's just it's just the same stuff over and over and over. And just yeah, and yet it's just it's, go ahead. Oh yeah, I'll give Sega this. They've been killing it the past year. I'll give them that. <laughs> but yeah, they're not. <laughs> the reason why Sega has fallen so far behind in terms of the console market was all the disagreements between Sega America and Sega Japan. Sega Japan didn't want to listen to Ian Curran, who was the one that made it so that they were toe to toe to Nintendo back in the '80s and stuff like that. And you know. It's their fault. Well, that, but yeah, but that's 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 not that's not not really a problem for me though because like like I was like I haven't really played that many Sega games since aside from Hatsune Miku and stuff like that, and Vanquish and the Sonic Adventure games and some and Sonic 06, which I think is you know I like that game so sue me, but it's like, my guilty pleasure. <laughs> yeah, but like um, yeah, it's like. It, you just don't don't really hear much 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 about like like a lot of great games. I mean like because like. Notice this, Namco was my favorite video game company, and you barely hear anything about them anymore, aside from Soul Calibur 6 and stuff. Like, like you barely hear anything about Namco, you barely hear hear anything about, um, well, well like, Konami, me, 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 me's been done for a while, but, like, you don't even hear much. <laughs> it's just that... Well, um, Bandai Namco has merged into one thing, well, and 
the only thing they really announced was the new Tales. Yeah, I never played the Tales, the Tales games, I just never really cared for it, but I have played Mobile Suit Gundam Crossfire, I have played, uh, what games have I Well, I have played Soul Calibur and Tekken and Ridge Racer and Starblade and Starblade Alpha and like Cyber Sled and 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 and, 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 and Time Crisis and stuff and yeah, I mean like those be like those those games were were awesome. It's just that you don't even hear much about those anymore. It's like gaming just nowadays is is all about fancy graphics, how much money they can they can they can take out of you. How hot they can make they can make a female character and stuff. How how many special moves moves they can make in a fighting game, or how many or or, or how many m- many crashes they can have in a racing game, or how <laughs> m- or so or how many like or how many many historical places you can go in Assassin's Creed, or how many. It's just that's basically the same pattern, and yet. Sony is not doing E3 this year, which I'm actually really glad or not because I wasn't the only one to watch E3 anymore because I'm tired of, 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 of seeing the same stuff over and over with no care or effort. So that's a good thing. But it kind of makes you wonder if they're going to mention anything about the, about the next-gen consoles that the term after, the, the year after this for E3. Because like, if, because like, I already have a hunch that the PS5 is going to be exactly the same as the PS4. Now, here's the thing. The, and and my, and one of my subscribers brought this up. The Sonic X9. He brought this up. Remember when when PS1 was 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 ending and the PlayStation 2 was coming out. There yeah. was a huge there was a huge leap in graphics and gameplay and stuff. And 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 it was like wow, this looks awesome. Look at the graphics. Look at the gameplay. Everything ran a lot smoother and better. Well, well, like PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, it did the same thing. And, and it was like, like whoa, a huge leap and stuff too, and six axis and, axis controls and stuff. N- but then when the PS4 came out, PS3 to PS4, like I said, I love the PS4, but it's just a t- but when jumping from the PS3 to PS4, it isn't really m- that much of a difference. Just slightly, I just mean, yet the first the games at first were slightly updated graphics, smoother frame rate, and that was just like basically it and stuff. It's just that. It's just that it didn't. I mean, none of the game, none of the game consoles when they were were released when they jumped into the next gen consoles, were were any different. There was like no difference. There was not that much difference here at all. Because like, I'll admit, yes, the PS4, it did start. It was a slow start. I almost ended up selling my PS4 because there was only two or three games I had for it because there weren't there wasn't much much on it. But thankfully, it changed my mind when Until Dawn came out and a bunch of other cool games and cool games started oh, coming out. So, yeah, go ahead. So, oh, yeah. Until Dawn. Yeah, I, lo- I still own the game. I love that game, and like I, I got all the totems in it and stuff, and that, with the help f- from a friend of mine who was who, 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 who was there helping me trying to find all the totems, and he doesn't. And like it's just. I mean, the PS4 is better than the Xbox One, because the PS4 does have more games, has those JRPGs and those Japan, just Japanese games for support. But still, it's just. Compared to how many games were on the PS3 and stuff, especially on the PS1 and PS2, the PS1 and PS2 collection was very high and stuff. The PS3 was 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 still good, not the greatest, but still pretty good. Just the PS, just the PS4 collection is just not that great, so especially when they when they start doing the censorship bullshit with Dead or Alive 6 and uh, well, Dead or Alive 6 was, was basically for all consoles and Dead or Alive Extreme 3 Fortune, so no, Dead or Alive Extreme 3 Scarlet is being censored on the PS4, and Summer Chicago Burst Renewal and stuff, and Super Neptunia RPG is being censored as well, it's just, while I, while that type of censor doesn't bother me that much, I can't help but feel like the censorship is only going to get worse for all consoles, like they're going to censor out cuss words, get rid of blood, <laughs> get rid of, get, get, get rid of guns, where, where like, instead of the Real guns, the first one shooter, are placed with like like pop guns or dark guns or something like that, or so, or just like or use your hands or so. It's gonna be four kids. <laughs> yeah, four kids. Yeah, <laughs> and they will be focusing more on about being politically correct. <laughs> yeah, I know, and it, it's bullshit because because like me being a gamer and stuff, and me growing up with with uh, up with video games, it's just that what the hell happened here? It's like it's it's just that it's just it, it's just like. The thing is that like it seems like 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 game game companies only care about graphics, money, and that's basically it. That's basically all they care about because like because like you can have a game with like fantastic looking graphics, but graphics don't graphics don't matter because it's the gameplay that matters, and the gameplay ends up ends up going downhill and just sucking very badly. And just it's just that that you see that for a lot of games. You see that a lot because like. 
these games, I mean, like, the thing is that they, they can do better than this, but they don't want to, because they don't want to put the effort in it. Like, if you look at what Quantic Dream did with Detroit Become Human, they put a lot of care and effort into that game. And you know what? It ended up being one of my favorite games. Hell, Insomniac, Insomniac with Spider-Man. They, they did a fantastic, a fantastic job with... Oh, with, yes. With, and yet... <laughs> And yet, and yet, and stuff, and yet, that's how, that's the thing, a lot of care and effort went into those games, but you don't really see that anymore. I mean, how many Need for Speed games have you seen where the, these, these last few years, where it's all the same thing, just slightly updated graphics and different cars and stuff? I mean, Need for Speed is, 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 is basically, like I said, become the fast and the, just trying to be like the fast and the furious, furious movies, which I've never really cared for, and like, and of course, like, it all, I mean, it pretty much, Need for Speed Carbon, I mean, it was pretty much the last decent Need for Speed game. And after that, everything else went downhill when it started copying the Fast and the Furious games. It's just that, I loved, I loved the, I loved the, I loved the, the, the first few Need for Speeds. They were awesome. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 was good. Need for Speed uh, Underground, Underground 2, and Most Wanted and stuff. Those were awesome. But nowadays, like, Need for Speed, it's like, please, God, please, Lord, enough of <laughs> them already. Enough of them already. I'm so tired of seeing them. And, like... Especially when, when like, like that's pretty much all they care about is just how cool the crashes look. I mean, it's just that f because they're, they're trying to rip off Burnout now too. It's just like especially with Need for Speed <laughs> the Runs, which I thought was going to be a, be a cool Need for Speed. I thought Need for Speed was going to redeem itself with Need for Speed the Runs, but it didn't redeem itself at all. It ended up being a mockery. I played I played it for like I played it for like a, like three hours, and I, and I was so and I thought it was hoping someone get better, and I was bored out of my mind. And hell, there was and there, yeah. even. Yeah, even SNK Heroines too. A game I got suckered into playing because I thought it was going to be a cool game, but boy, oh boy, it was not. Only twelve characters for for a full price game, and that's basically what it, what it was. Just it was land content too, and I hated that. Just stupid. Just stupid. I like the um, the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift game in PS2. That was the best racing game, in my opinion, because it had a role-playing aspect to it. You had the ability to customize your cars as far as performance-wise and not just aesthetics-wise like these games today, where it's just like a sticker and stuff like that. Yeah. In the Fast and the Furious one, you can actually fully customize the machinery of your car. And it was so far advanced that you can make a a 2002 Mustang looked like a 2012 Mustang, even though they weren't even out at the time. That's how advanced the customized was it. Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's, it's basically nowadays if that was happening, you'd have you'd have to pay like 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 50 bucks or so to get half the customizable content. And like, um, it is one thing. Also, I'm sick of it's multiplayer only games. Why would you want to pay full full price for multiplayer only games? Because I mean, like it's. For example, Fortnite. I mean, I know people love Fortnite. I respect your opinions, but but Fortnite is just not that interesting of a video game. I'm sorry, it's not. It's just the same thing over and over again. I don't like it. It's filled <laughs> with nothing but microtransactions. I know. In fact, Ace Combat Seven is coming out. Ace Combat Seven is coming out. And I love Ace Combat, but but I did not not like Ace Combat Six or Ace Combat Assault Horizon. And people are saying, oh, Ace Combat is going back to its roots. People, it doesn't look like it's going to. It's just a marketing thing ploy, ploy to get to, to trick people and to trick people who love the original Ace Combat games. Hell, the original Air Combat was one of the very first PS1 games I ever got, and I loved it. Sure, it had its flaws, but it's still, but it's still, it was a good Ace Combat game compared to Six and Assault Horizon. It's just they said that 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 about Call of Duty World War Two, and that game did not go back to its roots. Ace Combat Seven is is is, is going to be looks very similar to Assault Horizon and stuff, and it's just. It just looks really, really, really. It just just doesn't doesn't look like it's gonna be that that much fun of a game. I I tell you, it doesn't look like it's going to be fun. And and if it is fun, then I rest my case. I'll never say another thing about it. But take it from me, people. Ace Combat Seven is it's not going back to its root. It's going to be just like Assault Assault Horizon, with 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 without with or without over. It says to me no dogfight mode without the dogfight mode. But still, it's like. When you play the Ace Combat Assault Horizon, it felt more like it, it felt more like watching a movie than actually playing a fun, a fun air combat game. It's basically just, I feel. I mean, I'm not even going to going to get it. I mean, it's like it look, it look it looks 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 ridiculous looking. I mean, I don't know if you guys are, are Ace Combat fans, but take it from me, that game is not going back 
Not going back to his roots. They may say that H Combat Seven Scouts are known as going to do that, but it's not. H Combat Zero was the was was the last was the last decent H Combat game. Everything else after that sucked, especially when they decided to make H Combat Bad Combat Bad Six Fires of Liberation a, a 360 exclusive for some reason. Uh, I'll never understand why, but that but that's that's just me though. And like, I just finally it's it like like there's only a few games I'm looking forward to coming out. Um, Death and Rebirth, w- which is a JRPG, the next, the, 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 the Atelier game, the next Atelier, Atelier game, and, um, the, the, the spin-off, oh, Atelier. yeah, I love the Atelier game games ever since the Ireland series, but they're making a, a spin-off to the Atelier series, and they're making a new Atelier game based on the Ireland series, where you play as Verona's, Verona's daughter, that's gonna be cool, and... Yeah, the only Go ahead. games that I'm looking forward to is the Kingdom Hearts 3 and Tales oh. of <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that because Kingdom Hearts 3 looks look, look, looks really dumbed down compared to the other ones. It, look, it looks like a CG Disney movie more than anything. I, it's just basically all Disney characters I don't even care about. Like, aside, well, of course, Donald Goofy and Mickey, I care about them and stuff, but like, but like, like, like oh, ones yeah. like Frozen and stuff, I don't care about them. That's, that's, just me, though. that's the point mm-hmm. of the thing is to explore new worlds within the Disney franchise. Yeah, I am. Uh, Sorry. Go ahead. Bad habit of making the Disney characters just not matter in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> Except for um, Donald and Goofy, of course, but still. Well, and Mickey, too, because he's the king in Kingdom Hearts, so that's the thing. But, like, yeah, I also... Summons. Yeah, but, like, it's just speaking of, like, like that, like, Final Fantasy VII, VII Remake and stuff, just... I heard from I heard from my friend the Sonic X9 that Final Fantasy VII remake is going to follow the Evan children's storyline line more. So I didn't like that movie. It pretty, pretty much caused me to not like Final Fantasy VII for a while. So I snapped myself out of it and realized that Final Fantasy VII is a good game. But just yeah, I just like no matter how no matter no matter how original you could be, you're never gonna gonna leave that 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 game these days are not you know are not as much fun and memorable as they were back then. You know. I- Sorry, I was typing something in. Um, Don't worry about it. Um, um, anyways, you said something about the Final Fantasy VII remake, and um, Adv- and it was going to store all the story of Advent Children. I didn't know yeah. that. I heard, I heard from, from 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 a couple people who told me that and stuff. I mean, I, my 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 one of my my subscribers, Sonic X Nine, told me that too. I just I'm not really going to look look forward to it. It's just that. I mean, like, if it weren't for those, those JRPGs, I probably wouldn't still have my PS4. I am hoping that. Hybrid Mission Neptunia Rebirth Rebirth One Plus will get a uh, Western release because it's supposed to be a port of the the Vita version of Neptunia of uh, the first Neptunia game because I'm actually kind of looking forward to playing it because it's gonna ha- 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 have the gameplay style as the, as the sequels and such because yeah I love the first Hyper Mission Neptunia but like like when you compare it to the sequels the problems really stand out and stuff and it's just I just have a feeling that like. Who knows what could happen? Can you imagine, like, 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 in the future, like, like the next gen, next, next generation of gaming, everything is locked unless you have, micro, unless you buy DLC or microtransaction or loot boxes. Can you imagine that? I mean, that's the only way it's gonna get worse, in my opinion. Either that, or it's just gonna be a re-release of previously, you know, previous games like remasters. And- yeah, I mean, I'm tired of those HD remasters. I, I can't. I mean, I mean, I mean, like, I know people haven't ha- have ha- haven't played those games, and and now they get a chance to play them. But the thing is, like, you're better off buying the game on the actual console. Like, you're better off buying Metal Gear Solid Two or Metal Gear Solid Three on the PS2 instead of wasting money on on a collection that 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 that's full price and stuff. Same with it all started with the God of War collection. That then then it was Splinter Cell and Sly Cooper. And yada 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 and blah 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 blah. It's just like there's not really much that much of a difference to them. I mean, like the only way I would buy a remaster is if it's a game, if it's, if it's a Japanese game that did not ha- have have the Japanese voice setting in it. That would be the only reason I would even play. Well, it. that's why I like Tales of Hysteria because in the Japanese, um, it was re-released in the PlayStation 3 with all the cut content and stuff and fixed everything that they messed up in the original release. Yeah. And yeah. there there's an actual extra ending that you can get in the new Tales of Vesperia that actually satisfies the uh, the audience. And they said that if this sells well then they'll make a sequel because Bandai Namco was pretty much like done with the Tales games but 
fans kept on telling them that they wanted more and stuff. And they came out with Tales of the Fist remastered on the 3DS, and that did pretty well. And a lot of people want a sequel to that. Yeah, and like, um, in fact, I see that they're, they're, that the Anamusha Warlord is getting a, a remaster. If The only way I would buy those is if the, the remaster of Anamusha 2 and 3 have the Japanese voice acting that, that, that they didn't have in the PS2 versions. Because I could not even play Anamusha 2, to, to Anamusha 2 Samurai's Destiny, and Anamusha 3 Demon Siege because no Japanese voice acting in the game was a big turnoff for me. And I couldn't play because like it's a, it's a, it's a game that's in ancient Japan with samurais and stuff. And they couldn't, and without the Japanese voice setting, it affects the game. It really, really affects the game for me. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't bother with it. I mean, I, I couldn't do, I, I couldn't play him. I mean, the first one was the only one, it's the only one I can play, in my opinion. It's the only one I'll ever play until, until I learn about the HD, rem- if, if, if they make an HD master for two and three, then maybe, and, and they have the Japanese voice setting in them, then we are good to go. And like, if we want to talk about HD remasters, the HD collections or whatever, the worst HD collection was the Silent Hill HD collection. Good I don't God. know if you guys... Oh. What? I've got a bone to pick with that. Good God. Me, me too. I'll go first, but like, it's just, I hate, I hated how they changed the voice setting around, how all those bug glitches were there, and how like, the new voice setting made the lip syncing out of sync, and pretty much, it, me being a Silent Hill fan, I'm insulted that, 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 that my favorite Silent Hill game, Silent Hill 3, Got butchered so badly oh, in God, the HD collection. Favorite. Go ahead. Now, what do you what do you guys say about Silent Hill HD yeah, collection? I was thirteen when this, when it got released. Um, I actually borrowed Silent Hill HD remastered from a from a friend of mine next door. Anyways, so I borrowed it, and um, and yes, the game just looked well. This the remasters just looked awful, and I also read that they made it look awful because get this, they lost the source code to both games. <laughs> yeah, right. They 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 purposely did that did that did that, that for money. Do you want to hear something even more sad about it? What? The remaster was even better on the Wii. <laughs> what? Wait, what was better on the Wii? The remaster was better on the Wii. They, 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 didn't, have Sun Hill, they didn't have Sun Hill HD collection on the Wii. They didn't have that on the Wii. It wasn't on a U.S. release. It was a Europe release. Oh, European release. Okay, that's why. I just I'm about to say it. Like, but like you just said, yeah. And of course, there was no Silent Hill One, which I can understand that because there was because like there, there was no Silent Hill Hill One because that was a PS One game. But Silent Fourth Room, I didn't like that game, so I was okay with not having it. But still, I didn't even buy it because I knew that they weren't gonna have the new voice setting. The new voice setting was terrible. I mean, it, it's sad that the people pick apart pick apart the original voice acting when they were those people were picked for the voice setting for a reason it's like i mean i don't mind <laughs> troy baker and like last of us or brothers in arms or anything like that but him as uh, as james Sutherland, he he just sounds really out of place and yet and yet um Laura Bailey is it's not a good it's not a good job as claudia or angela donald burke was 10 times better um uh, well she was hmm? in there? yeah donna burke uh, Laura bailey in the in the hd collection voiced angela and claudia and uh, of course, Mary Elizabeth Smith McLean voice voice Mary and voice voice Maria and Mary and Mary Sunderland, and she saw her voice was way too deep. Even she agreed her voice she wasn't a, a good a good pick, and yet it, it was just so many 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 problems. It's just mainly the voice setting was a huge turnoff, and still can't believe IGN would give that that a nine out of ten when in reality it, it was one of the worst HD collections ever, <coughs> and so. I'm glad I ca- I'm glad I could suck it in because I got the original no ones. No, I still have, to have the original no games for the PS2, and they're perfect the way they are. It's just a lot of those HD collections have problems, have a lot of problems. I mean, Devil May, Devil May Cry HD collection had problems too and stuff like that, that too, which I don't remember what the, what the problems were. But like, that just shows right there. That just shows right there. And like, how that's like, 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 like it goes way, way, way on hill. Like. Hell, even the, the HD remaster of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare has, oh, loot yeah. boxes, has loot boxes and microtransactions in it. No joke. I'm not kidding there, people. Go look that up. There's, there, there's, there's loot boxes and microtransactions in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. A, a game released in 2007 that had no loot boxes or no microtransactions, yet they're in here because Infinity War and Activision wants, want, wants to milk every cent out of it. I mean... I mean, I love the first Modern Warfare, 
but I refuse to play the remaster because I'm not gonna, gonna do. I'm not gonna involve that loot box bullshit. I get triggered every time somebody mentions the Activist. Yeah, you know. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Yo, no, you go ahead. Hey, I think it was yesterday. Activision and Bungie have uh, have disbanded. They well, not disbanded, but they stopped their little partnership. Good. That's good. They should have never been partner. I think At the, get better. Yeah. At, the only reason Activision Activision wanted to merge with Bungie Bungie is because they fired you, 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 the people with, with Brutal Legend and a lot of people left when, when when they were talking crap about people, so they had to merge with Bungie to keep their to keep to keep their to keep their business going. And hell, companies like EA, Blizzard, and Activision and Bethesda and Ubisoft and stuff are losing lots of money because of these these shitty practices with the microtransactions and loot boxes. Like Legacy CC Killer, like le, no, no, not Legacy. Legacy Gaming HD, whatever his name is, a YouTuber. He's been talking about this stuff nonstop, especially with EA with with Battlefront 2 and how shitty that was. I mean, I did, I did not not play Battlefront Front 2 2017, but I did play Battlefront 2015. I, I got it for Christmas, and it was terrible. Barely any content, 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 content to keep me entertained, and just four maps to fight in. I and like. Flying the snow speeders, which is what I like, which is one of the things I like doing. In order to to like um to like um fire a tow cable, you have to keep moving the uh moving the uh the analog lock 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 lock, lock sticks up and down repeatedly, and that is annoying. That's annoying, and I don't understand it. <laughs> oh man, I I, <laughs> oh, I forgot what I was about to say. Dang it. Was it related to Star Wars, right? Or was it related to the loot boxes or whatever? Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. I fun fact. I when I got my when I first got my PS4 back in 2016, one of the games that my uh, mom got me, I mean, ha um, got me for it was Star Wars Battlefronts, and uh, it, <laughs> the game was infuriating to play through. Good God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like well, the second one's even worse. I heard because like 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 the story you literally could... have to pay for everything in order to get any. Yeah, I know. Imagine, imagine if, if it's like if, ever since Lucas Arts disbanded, EA took over and they made the Star Wars games pretty much shit. I swear. I mean, you don't really see any cool ass Star Wars games anymore. It's just all downhill too, especially with with the shitty movies as well. But that's kind of off topic for another day, and that's... just. I mean, like when you look at, I mean, EA used to be awesome. They had a lot of great games. They had, they, they did the Wing Commander games. They did like um, the Soviet Soviet Nuclear Strike. They did like Medal of Honor, and and like and Dead and the original and Dead Space. But now it's just that, well, Medal well, Medal of Honor Warfighter killed the Medal of Honor series. Like, it did. <laughs> I could go on about that for days, but <laughs> how you had how you had to how you had to drive a car, uh, drive a car. <laughs> The game was trying too hard to be... I can't think of a movie. Oh, fuck. But the game was just trying so hard to be cinematic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It was trying too hard to be like Black Ops from what I heard. Call of Duty Black Ops as well. <laughs> and Medal of Honor, Honor 2010. I thought the game was going to be was gonna be good. Like, cause Medal, of, Medal of Honor Airborne was, was awesome. But everything after that just, like, sucked. But just... I just only sucked. ever played the first Medal of Honor because... It's awesome. I by agree. By that it's time... Awesome. Uh, by that time, Call of Duty was also out, and I didn't feel like buying two similar. <laughs> well, I mean, like it's just I love. Well, yeah, like it's just Medal of Honor. Just like like the, you know, they were trying to copy Medal of Medal of Me uh, Modern Warfare, and it didn't even work all that great. Like 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 everything about the game felt like a Call of Duty clone. The controls and everything, and I can and like. I mean, like I said, I loved Call of Duty Finest Hour. I loved Call of Duty 2, Big Red One. I loved Call of Duty 3, my favorite one. And I loved Call of Duty, F Duty 4, my warfare, and Call of Duty World of War. I did not like anything else after that, but dear lord, dear lord. And I liked uh, Black Ops 1. The only issue with Black Ops 1 was that they had issues with the servers at real. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, and the fact that Black Ops 4 is multiplayer only, so you you that I bet you that's gonna hurt Call of Call of Duty say Call of Duty sales badly. Maybe 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 they'll shut down and stuff. But like, you can't forget um, Activision and Skylanders. Who remembers Skylanders? Oh yeah, I actually have I actually have one of the Skylanders in one of my uh, one of my cabinets too. <laughs> well, a few. Skylanders. Believe it or not, Skylanders is actually Spyro. Yeah, well, Spyro. 
it started off as Spyro, but as like as like as like a marketing thing. But then when when the first thing got popular, they decided to take out Spyro because they didn't need Spyro Spyro to make it make Skylanders popular anymore. And yet Skylanders is like just all those what when a way. Spyro is in all the games. It's either a hidden character in some games, but he's like a main character in most of them. And that was like their attempt at rebooting Spyro when Activision. Of- yeah, I know, I know, and just that. It was terrible. It was like that. It, it's like it, it like the, the new spiral design looks terrible. It's just that all that Skyland Lander stuff. Like all the all those you had to waste all the money on those on those those figures to buy. It's just a huge joke. I mean, I mean, who in the right mind is just gonna? I mean, like who is gonna wanna wanna buy all those all those toys and stuff? I mean, I mean, of course, kids are gonna probably gonna. I mean, even oh, kids man. are gonna <laughs> go yeah. ahead talk. I've got an entire plastic bag full of these guys, and I only got it for like three dollars at a yard sale. And I don't know where to. <laughs> I don't know what to do with these shits. <laughs> yeah, you Get can find a lot of the three packs that you can find at GameStop at the dollar store now. Yeah, yeah I just that. Uh, <laughs> sell them for years. Hell, I mean, like, you can't forget get the oversaturation saturation of like the rhythm based games like Guitar Hill and Rock Band. Oh, they were. Oh. They were they were released so much that they end up killing the rhythm based genre. Hatsune Miku is the only good rhythm based space game out there these days, and I and I wish they were more popular than than crappy Guitar Hero and Rock Band. I mean, Rock Band at first was okay, but then like it's just after it's just after like after Guitar Hero Guitar Hero World Tour, I was I was sick of I was sick of it because like it's just that doing the same thing over and over. It's like buying those bundles gets very very expensive. Yeah, and uh, what was it? So, oh yeah, I remember when Activision um, tried pumping new blood into Guitar Hero. Like that was two or three years ago with uh, Guitar Hero Live, but that didn't. <laughs> that fell what, through. What, wait, 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 what did they try to do? They tried pumping new blood into the series by uh, reviving it with Guitar Hero Live. Uh, I think it was two yeah. Years ago. It was. It was, They had like like FMVs and stuff, which uh, which basically showed a band <laughs> lip syncing songs. Everything was stuff. That's stupid. I mean, like, I mean, like, FMV's been long dead for a while, and the fact that that um, Rock Band Four was also the same thing. Just like, who's gonna be? I mean, I mean, yeah, we used to buy that stuff, but things that 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 that, that, that we were young and naive at the time, we didn't know any better. It's just that Guitar Hero. I know for the fact that Guitar Hero One was okay. Guitar Hero Two was was okay, but then after that, that just like went really really bad. Like, I mean, like, I I saw all the Guitar Hero games and stuff like that, but it's just that. I mean, it all started off with a with a PS with a PS2 exclusive, and just um, and then Guitar Hero 2 with a with a with a PS2 exclusive. And then for that, everything just just whenever when it, when it started ranging to to the Xbox 360 and up, that's when it all went downhill. Guitar Hero yeah. 3 was the best Guitar Hero. Oh, Which man. one? Yeah. Guitar Hero 3. None of them were. I didn't. I, I don't have a favorite Guitar Hero game because like it's just that I was all. I was. I was all. I I liked games like Um Jammer Lammy and everything like that better and Space Channel Five and uh, <clears throat> and freaking uh, Hatsune Miku and so like I don't really need g- Guitar Hero or anything like that. It's just that I mean, like, those are mainly only used for, for for parties and stuff. They're not fun to play by yourself all the time. Like like how, how Hatsune Miku and Space Channel Five are and Um Jammer Lammy and stuff. I mean, it's just that. They they oversaturated with Band Hero and like Rock Rebel Konami released their Rock Revelation, which Rock was which yeah. was only and like then yeah. Pacto came out with Dance Mario, and then like it just that all that stuff like they oversaturated and and they had that um that um that one the one game with the guitar controller that was a real guitar and stuff that like that thing I forget what it was called like I think it was called G I G or so I don't really remember, but um huh. Gibson. One more time. Gibson. No, I'm talking about the name of the game. The name of oh. the game. I don't. I don't remember the, the name. I don't remember the name of the game. But I know, like, um, it was just like, it, 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 I mean, like, it was just, ugh. and and the fact that um, they tried to make Guitar Hero as like the next best thing. It's just like, yeah, like every time a, a Guitar Hero game came out, there were problems with with some with some other controllers. Like, like with like, let's see. Well, the first guitar, the first guitar controller was fine for Guitar Hero One, and for Guitar Hero Two, Guitar Hero Hero Three was like okay, I mean, like it, it was wireless and stuff. That that was pretty cool. But like with Rock Band and stuff, Rock Band like had problems with their guitars breaking, the the kick pad on on the drums breaking, and the microphones being faulty. And then like um for Guitar Hero World Tour, they had the uh, guitar buttons 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 would would stick and stuff and just. And like yeah, 
It just, it just, just garbage. And Rock Revolution by Konami, you couldn't, e you couldn't even sing and sing in the game and stuff. So all you could do was do guitar and drums. But then it's just, by the time you, by the time you play about uh, about four of those games, you're already really sick of them. And you just want to play something else. You're kind of just tired of it already. I'd say gaming in the mid two in the mid two thousands and and the late two thousands were in its experimental years because people were you know trying to get a feel of what they wanted to play, which explains Guitar Hero and a few other game series. <laughs> yeah, it's like people were so pissed off at having to spend so much money on the bundles that like Guitar Hero Five just had a guitar controller and that was basically it. But it's still not enough. I'm not going 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 to buy a game over and going to buy the thing over just for new songs and stuff. I mean. <coughs> it, it push, it, and Ban Hero was just basically with more popish songs and stuff like that. Yeah. This one had exist. <laughs> but this one had Taylor Swift and Maroon Five in it and stuff. Michael Jackson was in there too. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I it's just, I, I don't know. But it's just that it's just fun to play. Then you're, then you're gonna stop playing it. You're gonna sell it. Buy the next one. Same thing. It just that's what it is. <laughs> it was. So you see how how what that what, what that's like, people. That's how it is. And that's how it is. Oh man, I'm trying to think of another topic. Um, well, we 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 we've talked about, about about quite a bit of stuff here and stuff. That <laughs> thing, like like we already talked about about E3. We already talked about like like rhythm based games and stuff like that. But the fact that like oh, I got something that I'm not that I'm not a fan of digital novel games. A visual novel. Oh man, I have mixed feelings on that. Um, just recently, I bought um, I bought a visual novel called Code Realize, and um, I couldn't really make it through the first chapter. <laughs> really, I mean, the, the story and setup is interesting, but yeah, visual novels. I'm a bit mixed on. Well, things that well, things yeah, that. Um... Also, it's majority of JRPGs in Japan. <laughs> well, well, the thing is that like um, yes. <laughs> I like. The, the, the game that the JRPG Death and Rebirth has come out, half of the game is going to be like a digital, like like a, like a visual novel. But I'm okay with that because it's not the whole game. I'm fine with that because it's not the whole game. But it's just the fact that, um, yeah, that's the fact that like when a whole game is like that, it's just not, it's just not that much fun. Is the thing? It's not that much fun at all. Is what I'm trying to say. And like, that's. <sighs> It's like it's just that I I can I mean to try try some new stuff but like but like it's just just not it's not really it's not 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 much there and yet it's like I'm just just, just thinking the back of all the games we had on on like on like the PS2 stuff there's no more SSX because SSX 2013 was a flop oh, and yeah. like and all basically and no more Tony Hawk games because Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 was pretty <laughs> much killed the Tony Hawk series how like how how like how like um the 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 the, the day one update was was larger than the actual game itself. Yeah, that's my problem with uh, game patches nowadays, because since games have gotten bigger, uh, developers have figured, hey, I can fit this 15 gigabyte patch into this 50 gigabyte game. <laughs> But trust me, it's not it, it's not worth it. It's not gonna fucking work. <laughs> it's like you're pretty much much you have to keep your keep your your system on for like a few hour, couple hours or so, and I hate that. I mean, sometimes we have no other choice but to do that. But like, like it said, it all should be there on start from the game. Is what I mean. I mean, like we haven't heard anything about Grand Theft Auto lately. We haven't heard anything about that or Saints Row or <laughs> anything like. That. Oh man, rest in peace, Saints Row. It went from uh, it went from a gangster um, a gangster game with lots of potential to well, South Park, Future. <laughs> like to like what? An episode of South Park. Yeah, like Saints Row the Third. That's when it all went downhill. I was I, I was disappointed that, that 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 the original Saints Row did not get a PS3 release. It should have gotten a PS3 release because how are power PS3 owners going to know how the story began and stuff? I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean Saints Row One was was pretty much considered Grand Theft Auto Light to like to 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 to, to, to certain people, but it still felt like a Saints Row game. You still, I mean, yeah, you you you, you can only drive cars, no motorcycles or anything like like that. But still, Grand, but still, like Grand Theft Auto Three was like that too so like in those Saints Row's first one and then Saints Row 2 
made everything made everything thing 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 better, bigger and better. And like you could you could fly helicopters, fly planes, fly anything. You could fly anything, customize as any cars you want. Like like I would take cars and paint them purple because that was the color of the of the Third Street Saints' color, purple. I made a purple limousine, a purple a purple police car, a purple tow truck, a pur a purple hearse. I made a purple O-ring, which is like the fast food car and stuff, and and a purple mail truck. I mean, like there's and and like I even got a bulldozer and 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 that and that, and the back hole and stuff like 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 the, like the back hole vehicle, like you know, like like um, the thing that moves pipes and crates and stuff. I remember that. And like and like just, but then since well, the third comes out. You can't customize, customize. You can't customize properties anymore. You can't buy properties, and yet the graphics went went from realistic looking to like um sci-fi computer generated generated looking, and everything is all futuristic now. But that's nothing compared to compared to Saints Row Four. Saints Row Four. Oh my God! It was basically a DLC pack that that they put in the game for sixty bucks, and. It's not fun going into a virtual into a a virtual real virtual simulation of Steelport. It's more f because like it's just in a simulation. It's not fun, and the fact that that your superpowers are so overpowered, you don't need a car anymore and stuff. Like you can run so fast that it that 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 it's better than than driving a car, and I don't like that. And the fact that you have to do loyalty missions in the game to get the best ending. Right. I think myself loyalty Mass missions. This is what is this? This isn't Mass Effect. I mean, oh, no. I mean. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the Mass Effect, all the missions, missions were not the best thing, but still, it was Mass Effect. That, I was fine with that because it was Mass Effect, and, and, and they wanted to up the challenge there. And of course, we can't forget Mass Effect Andromeda, how, 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 how shitty that was. That was basically just for people who wanted another Mass Effect game because the original ending pissed them off, but then they, they released uh, the new, they released, released the update ending, which was actually better and, and, and helped and made me like Mass Effect 3 again. And like Mass Effect should have ended, should end at as a trilogy, and that Andromeda series is just not, it's not worth it. I mean, I played it at a friend's house, and just while it had an interesting idea, it, it just, it just did not, it just, it, it was shallow compared to the other Mass Effect games, in my, in my opinion. And like, yeah, it's just, that, yeah, like, and go ahead, sorry, go ahead. In Andromeda recently, never has a game taken so much out of me. Oh God. I mod it mine. It flopped. It's like I didn't, I didn't even want to buy it because like it was so unfinished and stuff like that. I mean, Mass Effect, the original Mass Effect, came out for the for the, for the Xbox 360 in 2007, and it looks ten times better than Mass Effect Andromeda, and that's pretty pretty sad right there. Huh. And like, yeah. And that's, I don't really have much else to say. We've been going on for about like 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 like, like, like almost an hour here. I, I think it'd be a good time to wrap this up here. But anybody got anything else to say before we wrap this up? All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about you? How about you, John? Sega does whatever. Nintendo don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just that's pretty much 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 the future of gaming and stuff like that. It's like E3 is going to get worse. The consoles are just going to be all digital and stuff like that. Digital games stuff. Just more loot box. I just have. I'm just like PS4 is probably going to be the last console I get. And there'll be more podcasts, but this is gonna be the last part of our future of gaming, 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 gaming video. Cause like I think two parts is enough. But um, there'll be more videos coming. The next, the next review is coming. I'm gonna tell you right now, with no spoilers. It's a first-person shooter that that was that was that was that I got for the PS3. And it, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say if it's if it's an exclusive or or a, or a multi-port. I'm not going I'm not going to say what it is. You have to find out. Next week, when I when I up upload the review, that's pretty much all I gotta say. This is Tony, James, and John. Peace.